Good morning, Britain. Breaking news this morning. Prince Harry says he chose not to hit back after he alleged he was physically attacked by his brother William during a row in 2019. New clips from his interview with ITV's Tom Bradbury have been released in the last hour, with the Duke also declaring that the royal family need to take accountability. You know, I talk about the red mist that I had for so many years, and I saw this red mist in him. He wanted me to, to, to hit him back, but I chose not to. I want reconciliation, but first there needs to be some accountability. The deadlock between the government and nurses looks set to continue after ministers failed to react to an offer from the Royal College of Nurses to meet halfway overpay. Thousands of rail workers in the UK's largest rail union, the RMT, begin their second 48-hour strike this week as the government press ahead with plans to introduce minimum service levels to beat mass walkouts. General Secretary of the RMT, Mick Lynch, will be here after eight. He's a master of etiquette and a real-life Cupid, but could Fred Sirix be flexing his vocal cords as pigeon on the mass singer? We'll ask the suave Frenchman when he joins us later in the show. After weeks of brutal backstabbing, intense round tables and plenty of mind games, Meryl Williams was crowned one of the champions of the traitors. She tells us how she's making a difference for people with dwarfism. Largely dry today with sunny spells. Enjoy it because it's set to turn wet and windy as we head into the weekend. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 6th of January, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Good morning. Well, here we are again. Welcome to the programme. One story dominating the headlines this morning. Yeah. It's more information um, coming out from Prince Harry's book, uh, Spare. And um, extraordinary that it emerged yesterday, didn't it, that it had somehow accidentally been published and bought by people it in It was being Spain. sold in Spain. Sold, yeah. So, I mean, just on the grounds of logistics, uh, when uh, people in the UK and elsewhere around the world have been trying to get access and information on what is written in there, little sound bites, little bits and bobs coming out, you can walk into any shop in Spain Well, no, right no, no, there. no, not, not strictly any shop. A couple of booksellers basically mm -hmm. decided... Well, one of them didn't realise it was that important, mm. and the other one said, I didn't think anyone would notice or would mind. Yeah. So they... Uh, so the, the worldwide I mean, I, security embargo that they that have... Thought. The worldwide security embargo that they have yeah. had on this book has been like nothing we've ever experienced. Quite. You know, all the people doing the interview will be given very exclusive copies that they will Senior have to Senior members read. of ITV management trying to get access for nothing. us on this show. Nothing. But one bloke goes... Oh, I just thought nobody noticed. Don't think anyone would mind. In Spain, they have their main present giving, don't they, on January the 6th. Right, OK. On Epiphany. So they tie in with when the wise man brought gifts to Jesus. That's when they celebrate. Right. Whereas in the UK, of course, it's the 25th that we generally share presents. So the book sort of thought, you know, I'll, I'll whack it on the shelves. Yeah. It'd be a lovely be gift nice. to someone. No one's um, really that interested. No one's really... And it's, it's blown everything up, including revelations from Prince Harry that he took drugs, class A drugs, all sorts of things and uh, within the last hour we have got fresh clips um, which have been released from the Duke of Sussex interview which is going to go out uh, that's Sunday, with ITV's yeah. Tom Bradbury on Sunday and in these clips the Duke calls for personal reconciliation with the royal family but says that they need to accept some accountability. Yeah, the plea for peace comes despite a string of devastating revelations that he's made in his autobiography, including, as Kate said, that he took cocaine, asked his father not to marry Camilla, and that he killed 25 Taliban fighters while on tour in Afghanistan, a claim that has drawn condemnation from those who have served alongside him out there and who would like him now just to shut up. Nick Dixon is at Buckingham Palace. Uh, good morning, Nick. As Kate said, it's another day, more revelations as more of the book is released and more surprise as we read those revelations. Has there been any reaction from the King or the Prince of Wales? 